Hey folks, it is update number 101, and it is Monday, and I took the day off. So I didn't get much accomplished, um, but enjoyed my day, so I uh, did uh, stop at a thrift shop. However, you can't uh, miss out doing that. <laughs> and uh, came up with three pieces of sterling silver. They appear to be trays from some convention or something like that. Uh, don't think they have any value beyond scrap, but a uh, fair bit of weight, roughly, while well, the bags are still on them. Um, we'll take the bags off here and uh, we'll weigh them up. This one is. Uh, from Jasper Park Lodge. It appears to be a, I don't know, a key of some kind. So I assume it's some award maybe, or some souvenir from, uh, like I said, a um, a convention or something to that nature. Uh, one of the other ones is from Mexico City with the same logo on it, that key. And uh, yeah, so anybody tell me what, uh, that logo's for, that key logo, that some sort of uh, real estate agent thing, or uh, what is it? It's, this one is from, uh, it says Buck Hill, 1969, and has that same key up top. But it's uh, sterling silver as well, despite all that tarnish and staining, it's uh, sterling. So here we go. There is a hundred and one grams, hundred and one point four grams, and a hundred and one point four grams times uh, the current price of scrap sterling is seventy cents a gram. So that's uh, well, that'd be nice if my calculator worked. Uh, one hundred one point four times point seven zero is about seventy dollars, seventy one dollars, seventy. So for three bucks, I got seventy bucks. Not bad. And uh, what else did I pick up? Um, got these little guys. Uh, Poppy and uh, Poppy and Pop and Fresh Pillsbury Dough Boy and Girl, basically uh, from 1974. So they're kind of cool. Salt and pepper shakers. So anyway, didn't cost a whole lot. But uh, yeah, got a few knickknacks. And uh, we'll continue with this update. Uh, I'll uh, update you tomorrow. That'll be Tuesday. I'm taking part of the day off as well. But I do plan to do some buying uh, later on as well. So we'll see what we come up with then. All right. So hang in there. It's uh, coming right up. Yep, they got deleted. Didn't miss a whole lot, just some uh, thrift shop finds. And uh, that consisted of uh, some Adulta, um, a little bit of sterling silver, uh, nothing terribly exciting. Um, but uh, yeah, oh well, that's life. Things happen. <laughs> At least I'm straight and honest about it. So, on we go to a pick I did uh, on uh, Saturday evening. So, uh, maybe you'll enjoy seeing some of those finds. Here we go. So, I went on a pick last night, uh, on uh, Friday night, or sorry, Saturday night, and uh, came up with a few things, including this horn from a uh, Sparta radio. Check that out. That's pretty cool. That was uh, kind of a neat, neat find. And the rest of it is this stuff. Uh, four Coleman type lamps and uh, three gas nozzles, pump nozzles, some hardware, Massey Ferguson tin, Castro motorcycle tin, and uh, Crico belt measure. 
and a few assorted other tins, including this neat Chateau Quebec tobacco tin, which is covering another tin. So I don't know what tin it is. Offhand, it could be a tuxedo or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm tempted just to remove the uh, paper label and uh, see what's underneath. But I guess we'll see. I'll think about that and uh, maybe do a reveal later in the video. And uh, also got several uh, large um, sawmill saw blades. As you can see there, there's several. The knife makers really like those, or people like painting on them, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's what I picked up. Uh, the this is a massager, believe it or not, and uh, it's had seen better days. But I'm pl probably going to make that into a steampunk gun. It'll become part of part of one of my guns. But anyway, so that's what came up with. So yeah, not a bad little haul. It did uh, almost get lost on the back roads in Saskatchewan, but uh, I did uh, find my way out eventually. Anyway, yeah, enjoy. So I was shaking that uh, Chateau Quebec tin and there's something in it. So I did pop the lid off already. It took some effort, so I didn't want to be filming it. But there's some goodies inside. It looks like all receipts and that sort of stuff. But uh, anyway, we'll look through it. See what goodies we've got. Looks like receipts of some kind. I was hoping it would be cash. But uh, no such luck. Let's see. What do we got? All the bonuses. Here we go. What do we got? Mooseman, Saskatchewan, remitters, must keep this receipt. I don't know, we've got a receipt for something. Um, have no idea what it is. Grain, maybe, something like that. But uh, it seems to be what it's full of is these little receipts. I don't know what to do with them. Hate to just throw them out, but. Uh, might have to. Don't really have any use for them. Here's a receipt for something else. Uh, mileage service station. Mooseman, Saskatchewan. Doesn't look like it's any particular station. But, uh, here we go. Mileage service station from 1934. So that's probably about when the tin is from, mid-30s. So that's accurate. Uh, I got one from Elevators, or from Pool Elevators Limited. Another one. So we got a few little surprises. Uh, I've got a newspaper article or something. Oh, uh, prices of cheese. Oh no, here we go. Or is this what it's for? Saskatchewan Premier makes first major speech and vote campaign. A newspaper article. And more receipts from the elevator. What's this one? Ogilvy Flower, <clears throat> Ogilvy Flower Mills, right there. Kind of interesting. Oh, we got a check or a check stub. Uh, somebody received an amount. Oh, a subscription to the National Home Monthly. Fifteen special offer for fifteen months for one dollar. Oh, we got a article on a baseball article. 
Or wait a sec, maybe not. Oh, it's something else. Oh, it's a cartoon. And this is, we'll just make note, this is before World War II. There's a little swastika on it, but it's a, um, yeah, kind of a puzzle is what it is. So he was already making the news in 34. Hopefully that doesn't get us uh, knocked off of YouTube. We'll have to censor that, I guess. Uh, let's see. Wright's Drugstore. 75 cent credit. I think they still exist and they'll take that credit. And more, more paperwork here. Holy smokes. Okay. What do we got now? Receipt for a storage ticket. So, storage of grain, I assume. By the looks of it. Yep, for number 12 only. So, grain more than likely. Lisbon General Hospital. Somebody paid $13.25 for five days admittance in the hospital. Isn't that kind of cool? $13 for a hospital visit. Now we have subsidized health care, which is a lot better. Doesn't cost you anything these days. Uh, more receipts. Boring, boring receipts. What is this one? We have a credit from the National Bank of Commerce. Kind of boring. What do we got here? Barrel number 95399 exchanges for exchanges of gasoline barrel. Right? I don't know. Can you read it? I don't know. Don't know what that's about. And this one's for from the Museman Fuel Company. Agents for Imperial Oil Limited. Uh, we might have to keep that one and put it in inventory. That one's kind of cool. So receipt. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, we have a whole letter here which I'm not going to read because I don't think I can read it. Looks like a speech or something. All in cursive. I can read cursive, but I don't know if I can read that. So the camera died, but I don't have much left to show you anyway. Um, it looks just like more paperwork, some boring paperwork. We received some of two dollars for two dollars and fifty-five cents for eight hundred and eighty pounds of coal. Wow, that's cheap uh, heating there. Safeway stores. Receipt from the 30s again, and uh, we got an envelope. What do we got? And credit from Franco Canadian. Don't know what that's about. It's kind of cool. Probably a fuel company or something. I suspect. And the rest are just receipts. R.D. McNaughton Company. Braid tea. Sugar sugar for 25 cents. Made braid tea for 39 cents. Prunes for 25 cents. All paid in full, of course. And what else we got? Last receipt from the same company. Mitts for 35 cents. What else? We got one last one. 
1934 is the date on it, and it's a letter of some kind, a rough draft of a letter by the looks of it. So, there we go, I can't, uh, won't be reading that, because that's going to take forever. Anyway, so that's it for the contents of that tin. <laughs> Wasn't cash, but uh, was interesting nonetheless. I actually figured out there was just a little tab of glue stuck underneath the, this particular label so I can reveal half of the tin but uh, it has glue down the one side here and here so the label won't come entirely off which is a good thing because this is actually a scarce paper label tin that's supposedly worth a couple hundred dollars but we'll see I'll throw it on eBay and see what happens but this is the tin that it is underneath I'll show you here. Well, you can see we've gotten a sneak peek here, but uh, we'll show you here. Right here. Drum roll, please. Right there. It's a Tucket Special Mixture. So that's what it actually is. That's the tin litho pattern on our tin litho design underneath the paper label. So that's what we got. Kind of cool. Probably not as good as the paper label tin itself. But there it is. 1930s. Survived all this time. I um, was hoping it was something even more rare underneath, but no such luck. <laughs> anyway, so that's what the tin is. And uh, we'll continue with further updates. Another order of business is stickers. Um, I think you may have seen mine already. Uh, these little guys. If So if you've got a YouTube channel and you've made stickers for it, I'm kind of collecting the stickers because eventually what I want to do is do a backdrop that I can put behind me so you don't have to see my office mess and have stickers of all the various YouTube channels that uh, I uh, uh, cooperate with and uh, interact with. So, or those that would like to exchange stickers, that is. And I got three in uh, today, or not today, it was Friday, I guess. And uh, one, they're mainly from Snobby Scrap Picker out of the UK. So if you're into doing scrap, there's a channel you need to check out. And uh, his other half, Dusty Blonde, also on YouTube. And Mr. and Mrs. Diesel, also of YouTube fame. So check those out. Do a search for them and they shall should come up. And yeah. And the next order of business will be a um, announcement of the uh, contest winner and that will be done the probably the Tuesday of this coming week so uh, I can't announce it yet because technically I've got to wait for a couple days yet because I did give a week for people to get their entries in so, we'll see who wins, just momentarily. So, the final order of business is the contest. So, uh, you'd think we'd have tons of, of uh, entrants, but uh, we had very few, actually. Uh, grand total of one. <laughs> so, Matt. Mr. Cohen, you won the contest and you earned it. Um, he managed to uh, log in 50 of the items. According to my calculations, I had 52, but I might have screwed up somewhere. I know I already screwed up by listing the aluminum comb twice and possibly the cigar. I think the cigar pens, I think I listed one of them twice as well. So. Uh, there's a discrepancy there, but regardless, Matt won, and he earned it, so he's getting the prize. 
And uh, Matt, what I would like you to do if you're up to it is doing an unboxing video and maybe uh, point out the items you uh, were after or liked or thought were weird or whatever or have a use for or are collecting or whatever. All right, so uh, I've already got your address, so uh, don't worry about sending me that unless it's changed. If it has changed, email me right away and let me know, uh, or email me and uh, confirm. I think you still have my email address, um, or leave a comment on YouTube and uh, let me know. And for those of you who uh, maybe were trying to keep track of the contest and didn't quite manage to uh, get your entry in or just gave up, <laughs> um, here we go. I'm going to list out everything that Matt got and uh, he would have gotten a few bonuses as well in the box. So here we go. Uh, first item was a silver spoon, then there was a quartz watch, a ship button, 1988 Panda Calgary pin, floating hearts, silver dollar, a 1980 Tribune souvenir, a $5 Caesars Palace poker chip, a Coca-Cola McDonald coin, uh, coins, I should say, seven gold rings, uh, one or, which was a Swedish coin, uh, flicker keychain, jewelry's bottle cap, shoehorn, stick it in your ear button, Foxiest Legs button, a 1937 commemorative coin, a World War I coat button, Rolling Stones keychain from 1983, a carved jade monkey, white horse whiskey pendant, Boy Scouts belt buckle, melt caps, Ogden cigarette card, Old Dutch matches, a Mahjong piece, Fort Gary tea card, a Naval Reserve button, gramophone needles, a 4 gram weight, a bronze or brass letter L, an aluminum comb, a red toy bullet, a war pack ne needles, sewing needles, um, a cigar pen, another cigar pen, a Pokemon card, a kiss card, a modernist brooch, a cigar and a Zippo advertising insert, a key, and an enamel Viking stove uh, button, and a mini knife, an Air Cadets button, a 287 locker tag, a woman's belt buckle, pen tops or nibs, their um, uh, writing nibs, a uh, wipeout pin, a shoe clip, and a key fob. So, yeah, he got all of those items because he was following and uh, definitely earned them. So, uh, that's... Uh, even if you average them out at uh, $2, two dollars a piece, that's a $100 uh, gift there, a hundred dollar prize. Um, some of the stuff is worth three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars or more. So yeah, he got a nice little tidy uh, uh, prize package there. So anyway, uh, again, congrats to uh, Matt. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. I'm headed for uh, uh, a day off tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and I'll probably do a little bit of thrifting. Uh, otherwise, uh, Wednesday I'll be going to pick up some items from an auction that I purchased, so we'll go through those in the next update. So, and everybody else that uh, is watching, maybe drop a, a congratulations Matt to uh, Matt Cohen, and uh, yeah, drop that in the comments, just uh, congratulate him on his prize, and... Uh, his accomplishment because he's been watching right to the ends of, of all those videos so um, he's been putting in the work so uh, give him a, a, a thumbs up or a congrats and uh, we'll see how many people are uh, paying attention to the video here alright take care happy picking safe picking